Really lovely piece, um, and really well arranged by Bridget Mamakides. Um I think the first thing to think about with this piece is that we're playing a song, we're playing a piece of music that has lyrics. Um, I really, really like playing instrumental songs of, of, of pieces that originally have lyrics, um, because we're missing an element that is so important um, and we have to find musical ways to get around that in the knowledge that a lot of people that listen to this will have heard the song whether it's on is it on oh brother where art thou or um, you know it's it's been used a lot recently so assume that your audience do know what the lyrics are or at least a few of them um, and we got to think about how we can bring certain lyrics out especially the certain lyrics that speak to us um like there's the the end of the the kind of verse structure good lord show me the way that i, I love that bit and i think um it's particularly lovely in this piece too so we've got the in, that's in bar 10 It's a real exclamation that I think that needs specific emphasis, and so I I kind of try and emphasise those specific chords, even take a, a play them a bit slower and more stated, um, so that they are brought out because the the audience are going to be hearing the lyrics in their head. They're going to be hearing Oh Lord, show me the way. If you have a connection with the words there, and the words that mean something to you, that will transfer to the audience. Um, always assume that your audience knows a lot. They know the lyrics, they know the song, they know the context. They probably have an image of a film in their head as you're playing. Um, you could even write out the lyrics on the music. And then certain bits you would think, how, well, how would I sing them? How would I phrase or say that? And then how can I make that, how can I interpret that on guitar? Um, so like, for instance, I'm just looking at this for the first time, the, the lyrics properly, but studying about that good old way. The good old way is, a, is, is quite a, um, it's got a, a lot of meaning behind it. And I think we can just, we can space those words out as well. Just like, oh Lord, show me the way. We can space out good old, uh, learning about the good old way. So, um, where is that in the music? Yeah, here we go. Starting about that good da -de 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 -de. Um, So, uh, wonderfully there. That good 
we have a lift that good well the words are lifting that good and that good so uh, it's it's just wonderful how the, the how in a, in a really great song with great music and great words they 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 are one they morph together and we can bring out the meaning of the words without a vocal um if you like this kind of stuff, then um, Roland Dienz created an album of classic French songs. Um, and again, they're, they're all songs that have words and, and they're, they're, they're incredibly complex, very hard to play. But um, they're, they're a great example of how to set music, how to set the, uh, a song with words to guitar and let the guitar sing. So that should always be forefront in this. Everything else, every technical consideration, yep, important. What you're doing, the fingering, fingerings you're using, all really important. But underneath every bit of it, we have to be thinking, what are the words, what does this mean? Um, you don't have to be religious to enjoy these amazing lyrics and to bring out the music in a way that serves them. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say, really, on this piece. With any song where you know there are lyrics, um, find them, hear them in your head as you're playing, bring certain lyrics out. And it, and it is important about bringing lyrics out that mean something to you as well. Um, th th yeah, that really, really is a great way to play. <laughs>